All right, in this video, we're going to cover the 4.4 mathematical modeling activity. And we're going to have four main goals as we get into this activity for this video, and that's creating a new folder, saving the starter file that I'm going to give you, creating an Excel chart based on given data for rainfall and runoff, and then formatting that chart. Um, just so you know, for number one and two, if you don't have Mr. West, your teacher is going to tell you um, where to save and then where to access the starter file and where to save that starter file. But if you're with Mr. West, just keep on following along. So first thing we're going to do, make that new folder. Go click File Explorer down on the bottom. Go to this PC, V Drive, D West, the period I have you. Find student folders, locate your name, and we're going to make a new folder. So click the new folder button, and we're going to call it 4.4 underscore mathematical modeling. And then click off of that. So we made the folder. Now we need to go open the starter file and save it into that folder for ourselves. So I'm going to go back to period one up here, or the period I have you go into the shared folder that uh, I made and here is the starter file so double click this Excel document and it's going to be in a protected view because I have it as read only so you don't edit my um, existing one so the first thing we're gonna have to do is a file save just click OK and we want to change where it's saving to so I'm going to double click on this PC double click this this PC over here and then I'm gonna go back into um, this PC oh no here we go I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna click on period one up here and then go into student folders find my name find that folder I just made double click into it and then I'm gonna rename this last name whatever your last name is underscore first name Okay, so last name, underscore first name, and then the title of the project. So fill that in with your information and then hit save into your folder. All right, so that is step one and two. Now let's create the Excel chart based on the given data. So first off, let's uh, put in our name up here. So type in your full name. And then let's take a look at the data. And actually, before we do that, I want you to pause the video right now. And I want you to go read the introduction and procedure 1A, B, and C for on the handout that you were given. All right, so now that you've done that, let's take a look at the data. Um, we have three columns here with some rows of information. Let's take a look at this first column. This first column is telling you where the data was collected. So what station it occurred at, so there's a location there. The second column is the estimated mean annual rainfall over an area and it's measured in inches what the heck does that mean pretty much just means how much rain has come down and hit the surface of the earth at that location and it's measured in inches um, the third and final column is the annual or is the average annual runoff which is also measured in inches and what that is runoff is um, the water that does not soak into the earth. It's the water that drains to another location. So um, for example, you can take a look at this picture. So the one column is measuring how much rain is coming down and hitting the earth. The other column is measuring how much runoff is going off to somewhere else to another location. All right, so now that we know that, let's take the data and let's create a chart. So I'm gonna left click on this first column here and I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and drag and select all of this data. And then we're going to turn this into a chart. So to do that, I'm going to go to Insert. And then under Charts, there's this little icon right here, which is a scatter chart, which is what it asked for in the directions. So I'm going to drop that down. There's different versions, right? If you just hover over them, they show them to you. But we want this first one, which is just a regular scatter chart. So now I got the chart in there, but the problem is it's running into all my stuff. So I'm going to hover over the edge until I see the move icon. I'm going to left click, hold, and drag it. And we're going to take it and fill kind of this white area that we have here. 
I'm also going to make it bigger by grabbing this little bottom corner, left click, hold and drag, and kind of fill that area. And the next part of the directions, it wants you to format the chart. It wants a title, it wants the, and it also wants the axes labeled. So let's give it a title. So I'm going to click in there, and this is going to be called Runoff Verse Rainfall. That's going to be the name of our chart. And then it wants um, X and Y axes labeled. So up here in the Design tab, there's an Add Chart Element. So I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, axis titles. Let's go to Primary Horizontal. I'm going to do that again and go Axis Title and do Primary Vertical. So I clicked both of those. It added in my X axis title and my Y axis title. I'm going to go over here and rename this one. This is going to be Average annual runoff and then that's going to be in inches so in parentheses I'm going to put IN period and then close that parentheses. I'm going to go over to my x-axis I'm going to rename that and that is going to be estimated move my mouse so you can see it estimated annual rainfall and that is also going to be in parentheses with inches so then that is labeling the axes and the title. The next thing that it wants is a trend line. So to add a trend line to your chart, up here in the Add Chart Element, you're going to drop that down and click tr uh, Trend Line here. And we want Linear. So you're going to click on Linear. What that will do is it creates a trend line in your data to help you uh, maybe predict or also just visualize a little bit better of what your data is doing. Now it also asks you to format the trend line. So if you click on the trend line, you'll see these two little dots pop up, which tells you that it's selected. And then I'm going to right click and go to format trend line. This box is going to pop up on the right, which will allow you to change settings for that trend line. So one of the first things it wants is it wants you to um, forecast backward five units. What that means is it wants you to take the trend line and extend it back five units to forecast what that would have been. So I'm going to go to the backward over here. I'm going to type in five. And then when I click off of it up here, you'll notice uh, maybe in, I'm going to click into the forward. You'll notice that the trend line extended backwards. The other thing it wants you to do is to display the equation on the chart. So I check that button and it adds in the um, your slope intercept form equation which is actually your mathematical model. The only problem is it's kind of running into my data so I'm going to click and drag it over um, and then you'll notice when I did that it changed over here. Um, so right now I'm into the formatting of this equation. So I don't want to be on the formatting of that. So I'm going to click back onto the trend line. Notice the blue dots. So I just moved that equation over. And then I scroll down over here and I want to also display the R squared value. So once I do that, it'll also display the R squared. Um, I'm going to change the color of my trend line to make it pop a little bit more. So while it's highlighted, I'm going to go into this fill and line uh, option, and I'm going to go to color, and I'm going to change that to a red, and then that'll change our trend line to red. And then I'm going to click on the equation here with the R squared, and while I'm still in the fill and line, I'm also going to add some color to that. I'm going to add an outline color, so I'm going to go red there, and then you'll notice that the uh, equation now has a red box around it to draw attention to that. So that is how you can um, use the data to create a scatter chart and also format the chart to your liking or criteria including a trend line and also the equation for slope and your R squared value. In the next video we are going to uh, cover the remaining questions in your handout, which is two through eight, I believe, and help you answer those. Um, and last but not least, please make sure you save. So go up there and hit the save button for me, and that'll save and update that. Oh, and we also need to print, um, because in this 
uh, in the next video, you should have this chart cut and taped into your engineering notebook. So to print, you're going to go File, Print, and then please just make sure that it is a landscape first off right here, and that the scale down here is changed to fit sheet on one page. What that'll do is it'll take all this and put it on one page, and then you're simply just going to cut this chart out here and 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 put it into your and actually you know what you're going to cut this yeah no what just the chart you're going to cut this chart out and put it into your engineering notebook and then we'll answer the remaining questions underneath see you in the next video